Welcome to Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast. This is your Badger Healing Evangelist, Felicia Claiborne. You can like our Facebook page. It's entitled Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast and Healing Wings International Ministry. You can also join our groups on Facebook under the same names. This is brought to you by the Partners Prayer Warriors and Supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. We will talk about imputed sin. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you, give, give you glory, honor, and praise on the day. We ask you to open up our ears to hear our spirit to receive the word of God. Release salvation, heal, and deliver us signs, wonders, and miracles. We ask you to remove all distractions of every kind and to release fresh revelation confirmation of your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Imputed sin. In the Garden of Eden, when Adam sinned against by eating fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, the act of disobedience produced a grave twofold effect on the rest of humanity. The first effect was original sin and the second was imputed sin. Adam, as the head of the human race, caused every person after him to be born into a fallen condition or sinful state. The effects of Adam's sin is known as the as original sin and is often referred as inherited sin. All human beings have inherited a sinful nature through Adam's original act of disobedience. In addition to receiving a fallen nature, all people have who come after who came after Adam has been credited with the guilt of Adam's sin. The meaning of imputed sin. In imp imputation is an attribution or a crediting of someone. Imputed sin is Adam's guilt attributed to or accredited to us. All humans are counted as being sinned, having sinned, and Adam, and thus deserving the same punishment for sin as Adam. Imputed sin affects our standing before God. We are guilty and condemned. Whereas original sin is affects our character, we are morally ruined. Both original and imputed sin makes us subject to God's judgment. The term impute is used both legally and financially and means to delegate any action, word, or thing as credited to another person's account. Biblically, Adam's sin was imputed to all his descendants and they are to be dealt with as guilty. It does not mean they are personally guilty of Adam's sin, only that the, his sin was credited to, his, to their account, and thus every person participates in the guilt and penalty of that original transgression. The penalty of sin is death, which you can find that in Romans 6 and 23. It says, the wages of sin and death, but the gift of God is eternal life. We are to sub we are subject to spiritual death or separation from God in this present life due to imputed sin. If we persist in this state of separation from God, the result is the second death, which is eternal. The guilt of Adam's sin was directly charged or, or imputed to the whole human family so that all people are now subject to death. The good news regarding original and imputed sin is that God already had a remedy, a sovereign plan of salvation, even before Adam sinned in the garden. All people are in Adam, so all believers are in Christ. Being in Christ means that his righteousness is now ours. Through Christ's sacrificial death on the cross, the sin of humanity was imputed to Christ, meaning it was charged to him, not to Adam. 
believers are not yet perfected in righteousness because we are in a progressional sanctification, meaning that we ever are going towards that eternal sanctification, which when we get our new body, Jesus answered the demands of justice for our sin and sanctified the requirements of the law. If you want the Lord as your personal Savior, I want you to pray this prayer and really mean it. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. I ask you to wash and cover my sins in the blood of Jesus. I believe that Jesus died, buried, rose, sit at the right hand of the Father, and coming back for me again. I open up the door and let Jesus into my life, and I confess that I am saved. I thank you for saving my soul. Teach me to read the Bible. Send me to a good church and fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. That's it, my friend. Rejoice. Welcome to the family of God. Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life and the race off the quarters of hell. Get your Bible. Start reading the book of Psalms and Proverbs. Proverbs will teach you how to live and Psalms will teach you how to praise, worship, and pray. Thank you for watching the Eagles Healing Hope broadcast. We pray that you have been blessed and encouraged. If you have any prayer requests and prayer supports, you can email us at healingwingsintlministry at gmail.com and box us on Facebook at Eagles Healing Hope broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministry pages. You can sow your seed by cash up at dollar sign Blondie Badger and that's spelled B-L-O-N-D-I-E-B-A-D-G-E-R. Or you can mail a check or money order, make it payable to Healing Wings International Ministry. Inbox us on Eagle Healing Hope Broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministry pages to get the address to mail your seat. Your offerings will go to the further the kingdom of God. This was brought to you by the Partners, Prayer Warriors, and Supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. Keep hope alive. And remember, there is hope. Be blessed.